How's Dominic? Mm. Oh, sad. Does he think he's gonna go home? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Do you want to sit on the bed? Oh, the little pod right here. All back together again. <laughs> it's a reunion. So what's up? Well, we're all gathered here today um, to figure out where we're all at. I mean, what's going on with us? Because I feel like we're a dysfunctional family <laughs> who's holding on by threads. And I think that we set up here day five and we're flipping out, ready to walk out. All of us were ready to go. And we didn't think that we had a chance in hell of making it through the duos. And we did, and we are, and we're here. And I'm just, personally, I'm just still confused why we're not all on the same page. And not all working together. And not, like, having complete trust in each other. And that's just my feeling. So I, I don't want us to like sit here and bicker and argue about pointing fingers, who said what, but we started out making decisions together, like as a group, and now it's just like I think we're not really doing that anymore. And we all need to be talking, and we haven't been. I think we let a lot of people come in between, uh, all of us. I think a lot of that is newbies. And I don't think there should be in between us. I think that we should all be making decisions that are all going to benefit the group uniformly and together and help us get to the end. So. Can I interject? Yeah. I feel like if we don't work together, that we're going to end up going to war and that a newbie is going to, a floater newbie like Luan or someone is going to make it through this game and win like Big Brother 13. If we go to, if we don't all work together, that they're gonna have the upper hand. Because they're just gonna be able, we're gonna slip up somewhere and they're gonna take us all out. And I don't know, personally, I mean, I think that probably all of us are a little responsible for kind of spreading out a little bit and kind of losing like that, I don't know, that like trust and that closeness with each other and kind of just taking for granted that we are all on the same page all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where are you at, Danielle? I mean, I just want to know where you're at. Well, I mean, obviously, like, you guys have been acting weird to me and I've just been hearing things from other people and, I mean, like, I was telling Brendan and Rachel, like, how am I supposed to feel when obviously I'm already the odd man out of the group? And then every time people want to talk, it's the four people, and I'm just like, do to do and nobody tells me anything. And then people just assume, like, <clears throat> about, you know, like, Dominic, Kalia, Luan, and I staying up late at night, which I know you assume something very well. And I'm just saying, in all honesty, on my grandmother's life, truly, truly, which I would never say that ever because my grandmother's my world to me, we don't even talk game. But why we stay up so late at night is because that's like the one time that none of us talk game and we talk complete and utter nonsense and I truly, truly mean that. And I just think that people see things for, I don't know, obviously I'm sure it does come off wrong appearing that we stay up 6 o'clock in the morning just talking all night every night. But I don't know, like I think that people just take things the wrong way and then you hear things and then things get taken a different way. And I don't know. I'm sure, you know, like, it puts doubt in your mind, in your mind, whatever, and then other things come back to me where it's just relayed incorrectly. But as I said before, and we had this talk today, I'm, the five, that's what we said, what, day one, and, like, that's what I'm 100% in with that, period. Because I said before, if 
it wasn't, if it's not going to be me who wins, obviously I do want somebody else who's been here before to win rather than a Lawan or an Adam or somebody else, period. I agree. So you're still down with the final five? Yeah. Okay, I, from my point of view, here's what I saw. Just You just started acting like one day, just acting weird. And like if I was in a room, you were not in it. Like if I, I was like literally going to the clock, like to the camera. Almost, it almost got to that point where I was like, well, that was 20 seconds. That was 30. That was 40. Another that was 10. Another comment you made to Dominic, and he told me that today. And I, honest to God, I don't know. Maybe it was for the last few days when I just haven't been paying attention. I've been in the room a lot because I haven't been feeling good. Genuinely... It was not on purpose or not calculated. I really mean that. So I truly, truly apologize if that's how you took it. And I really, until, like, even when he said it, I was like, I haven't noticed doing that. And I apologize if I have. Well, that's but, why I thought someone was like, because you just stopped talking to me completely. And then even when I'd come up here, like, to see what was going on, like, I'd come up and then you would leave. And then I'd be like, so what's up? You know? And then it just got to a point where, like, um, you know, you were just on that side of the house, and I see everybody, like, running to you all the time, and it's always in the corner. And it's just, for me, I'm not accusing anything, but it's just, like, flashbacks of, like, here we go, everyone split up. And I was like, why would she leave the final five? You know what I mean? Like, I'm down with it. Like, I'm down with them. We had our bumps along the way. We say stupid things to each other. We fought, but we got past it. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Absolutely. And I think, just personally, from the odds of us getting to the final five are like unlikely unlikely Absolutely. right so it's not like anyone's in an order here it's not like okay when it gets to the final five you're out because you don't have a partner or vice versa or whatever the odds of us making it there if i get knocked out then you four go if he gets and then he's next then you three go because if i get knocked out of this game mm -hmm. i want her to have somebody to play with you know what i mean i don't want her to be ostracized for no reason or myself either you know and it just felt like Everyone's going to that side of the house. And then when it came down to that veto, it's, uh, no, like, if I was on the block, I would be, like, up my ass. Like, if I was one of them, I would be like, Jeff, what's up, man? Where do I stand with you? Where do I stand? They didn't say shit. Not one word. We're like, hey, can I get your vote during this or can I get that? Not one word. You know what I mean? So I'm like, what the fuck's up, dude? Yeah, but then there, Dominic's told to throw the veto, so he throws the veto. I didn't know that. I asked Dominic, and I go, I remember going to the bathroom, and he goes, you know what's up, right? And I go, what? And he goes, you don't know? And I go, no. And he goes, never mind. And he goes, never mind. He goes in the bathroom. So then he tells me after that we're going, that he's like, dude, I tried telling you. I go, try telling me what? You told me never mind because you didn't want to include me. He goes, I thought we were cool. I go, cool, what? You he, this is the first, when he talked to me the first time an hour before the veto ceremony. I'm like... You want, you want to ask me for a vote now, an hour before the veto ceremony? And while, obviously, we didn't talk the last week, I went outside and I'm like, I'll be fucking damned if anybody comes and asks me for their vote and they don't use that veto, then I'm going to fucking ask and be like, yeah, I'm with you, bro. If it was me, I'd be like, dude, I'm on the block. There's a chance they're not going to use that veto. I want your vote. They were just fucking comfortable. They're like, I don't know what's going to happen. Probably, I don't know. Maybe that veto is going to be used. So, obviously, I'm like... Why the fuck are they so comfortable? Why are they so comfortable? Under the impressions that I was getting, Dominic was told to throw the veto and then pretty much working with us to get to final six. And that was his impression that he was given. And so he did do that. And then it's like, okay, well, you know, like, obviously I can tell, like, there's animosity and everything amongst him where he kind of was just like, I don't really know, like, where this is coming from, blah, 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 after he threw the veto and then... Whatever, I don't know, but that was, I think that was the whole thing where he thought that he was safe because he did what he was told to do, and then it felt like the tables turned like that, and it's like, well, I don't, what am I supposed to do now because I'm left out to dry after I did what I was supposed to do? Do you know what I mean? Well, he didn't, tell, he didn't include me on the plan, and I didn't know any plan. I didn't hear that plan. So I didn't know, and I, he told, I remember exactly asking him. He's like, you know what's up, right? And I go, no. And he goes, all right, well, never mind. Never mind means go fuck yourself to me. What do you, you don't want to include me on the plan? And I don't know where this all came from, this Dominic thing, because I remember before all this, like, we stopped talking. I mean, it was, like, like cut dry. Like, you would not look me in the face and left. And I was like, dude, what the fuck is going on? Like, what's going on? And Dominic stopped talking to me and everything. And I would, like, if nothing happened, if all, you would have kept talking and no one said anything, 
I was all for keeping Dominic. Now I'm real, real fucking suspicious, and I don't want to keep Dominic. I'll be 100. We're being honest Well, here. I'm not stupid, and obviously I know that completely. And he knows that. He thinks he's going home on Thursday. So, I mean, I don't know what you guys want me to say. Like, I told Rachel, I just think it kind of sucks where last week it was like, okay, well, Cassie's going to go home, so you work with Dominic and, you know, get him over to our side, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, okay, I did that, you he know. He was, though. He, but he that's was. What, but that's what I'm saying. So, I don't know. I just felt like it was just, like, a switch out of nowhere. And I, and I understand what you're saying where, like, you felt something different. I don't know. Like, I felt like it was awkward between us two, and maybe it was, like, a weird thing between the two of us. And I don't know. I don't know either. And then I was just like, well, what's up? And then I started hearing weird things from around the house from multiple people. As did I, so. So, well, what, what did you hear? I, I mean, because it didn't involve you. It involved me. I so it wasn't anything that I said about you. It was all directed towards me. And I want to know where that came from. Well, I don't necessarily know what you're talking about, but I've been hearing weird things about me going around the house, and I didn't know where they were coming from, and then even Shelly today making numerous, like, odd comments out of nowhere and following everybody around the house, and it's just like, what the hell's going on? And that's why I just, like, wanted to stay in the bedroom all day and just be away from it, because everywhere I went, and that's why Shelly took a five-hour nap today for her first nap in this whole house. And it's like, well, why do I have a spy following me all day? Like, I just don't understand what's going on. Well, I, well if you want to talk about weirdness, I feel like I don't go in a room. If, when you leave, Lawan comes in. I feel like whenever, I don't even, wherever I'm I at. I swear on my life. I'm just saying, if no, you, I know, it I know. probably means nothing, and prob Shelly probably means nothing either. But now it's like I'm getting fucking suspicious. No, I know what you mean. You know I, what I mean? Honestly, but I promise on my life I've never even talked game to Luan at all like I really have no idea what he would do if he was HOH I've never talked game to the guy because I don't trust him and nobody else trusts him and that's he's been following me around he's been following Dom around like yeah I like hanging out with him at night when we don't talk game but when he's paranoid because I guess he thought you guys weren't going to use the veto because Kalia got paranoid or whatever thought that you were going to use the veto and he was going to go up that's why he was so nervous like doing that but literally i've never talked game to the guy at all other than him trying to cop a deal with me like a week and a half ago saying you know like we understand each other blah 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 which he went around to everybody yes, you know exactly exactly well i i just maybe it was a misunderstanding because i really was i heard some weird fucking things and i got nervous and then as you didn't talk to me and as people started to spread I was just I was just paranoid. I was nervous for myself mm -hmm. because I know I would go home and Jordan would be stuck here and odds are next week she wouldn't go home so we'd be split up for the summer, you know? So I thought that was pretty shitty too. I'm like, you know, you guys could pull some shit later on. I told you I'm with you guys till final five. If you guys wanna fuck me, at least fuck me after we could be together all summer. You know? So I thought that was pretty shitty from what I heard, just in that aspect. I understand it's a game, but I mean I'm here to have fun, and you guys could fucking kill each other and stab each other in the back. You know what I mean? I'm going to try my best and play the game. You guys play a different game. And I'm just here to have fun and be loyal to the people I'm loyal with. Obviously, I fucking, we good, my temper gets in the way, and I, we have bumps in the road. But I think it's stupid to break up. Like, I think it's I ridiculous. Agree. I really so do. So if one person wants to break up, I think it's just, it hurts everybody. We already had that fuck up with your dad, and I don't know your dad, but I would think that he would want to keep that deal to the final six too because he, I didn't watch the rivalry. He's like, dude, they just picked them off, picked them off, and then they played their game. And I was totally willing to do that. And the odds are that they're going to fucking beat me and Jordan in the end, and you're a better player. So odds are we're not going to win. But I do want to go to the final five. The longer you last, the more prizes you win, the funner it is. So I don't know why a person would split out of the group when, you know, when we have that deal. And, I, and odds are you guys are better players, you know? So I would stick, and when I heard that, you know, I heard different things, I was like, well, wh where's this coming from? What did I do to deserve this, number one? And number two, why would you break that deal? When we were all up here day one crying and together and we swore that we weren't going to break. You know, that, that's just, like, I'm a loyal guy and I believe in loyalty, and that, like, hurt me a little bit. At the same time, was a fucking dumb gameplay move, you know? That's just where I'm coming from. So I'm... A little hurt and a little like baffled on why. What happened? What? No follow up? 